up for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be sharing the World Weight Championship between Bruce and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I hope you guys will like it. Alright, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender. Getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week. He's appreciative of this opportunity but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ferocious. I you for the championship. You can give me instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. is palpable as this fight gets underway and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do well and in those situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out of his reach advantage there with that punch. Good stick. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. That shot blocked by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign. 
sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. with a right. Just misses there with the left. That one's stuck in. Nice play. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Just out of range with that kick attempt. the target so a huge moment here now we'll see if he can follow it up just over three minutes to go round one nice body oh and he lands a punch there good connection by him on that great connect so fast so accurate and watch the ability to land anywhere Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. And a miss with the right hook. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just misses with the jet. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. A lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Right hand on point. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Nice right hands. Out of range with that kick attempt. Body kick. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Wow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive kick! Everything behind it. Punch over the top. Big roundhouse now just misses. Leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, nice connection there with the power. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the score, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time. But that was the right time. It's very important when he throws that body kick. Oh, big kick lands flush. Yeah, I've heard him a little bit. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment 
was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Now a knee. That one appeared to be blocked. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. And just misses with that big right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Head kick lands. Ooh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, just misses with the kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Great punch. Awesome big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Oh, he got it. He got it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Switches his stance yet again. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice punch by Lee. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. There by Lee. Beautiful leg kick ball. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Well placed kick there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Nice. 
nice leg kick land. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Whoa! And he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to put very bad Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He has all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Nice leg kick. Nice. Just missed with the left there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. The liver kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Serve him up. Go get him. Hands higher. Hands higher. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneak body kick. Good punch, Lance. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Able to check the high kick. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh! Oh! He's there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom's out of the face. Dude's hurt. That'll do it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage. He's done. He's done. What a performance! Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Buffer now with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Going to win it by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. For the UFC welterweight division title. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. If you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, presenting the challenger, Ferocious. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for UFC they touch him up and we are underway you ready? Right, so the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. 
He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting his... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to establish that jab once again. Circling away towards the left now. Big kick land. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Unable to land with that punch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Ooh. Wow, what a kick. Ah, that's Jack Hurdle. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Straight right, right hand over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, huge block! So there it is, long to reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, really making good use of this reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big body kick. A flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh! Oh, what a sweep! Now he's on top of him with the first pin. Oh, he got him! He got him! Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Lee gets up, clearly he wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Straight punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, he's throwing it over and over again. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Pretty good right hand. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
guy in his tail. He needs to get back. You ready? You ready? Let's go Round two underway. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. To do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Nice punch lands over the top. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three oh. piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Checking a leg kick. Check that one. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has man. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win to Bruce Buffer, he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still